but I'm going to, wow, you're already freaking out on me. Super impressive. We just went through the downtown area. No interventions at all. Really impressive here with no lane line to the right. And it's like not going. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Okay, so it's taking advantage of this gap. Kind of, like stop. What are you doing? See, look at, oh, it's hitting the brake to exit. It thinks there's still an exit here. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I need to hit the, hit the accelerator. But before we get started, it's time for our newest patrons to move into the frunk. Eric, Aurea, and Max S, and Trent. Welcome to the frunk. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is episode 15, I believe. So normally when I do a Tesla challenge, if you're new here, the point is I turn on autopilot, more specifically navigate on autopilot, and I let the car do everything. So we're getting on the highway here. You can see here on my navigation, we're going 45 miles, so a pretty far drive. And almost all of that is gonna be on the highway. We have several interchanges. So once I turn autopilot on here, I am not gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna try not to have any cuts in the video. Um, but it's hard when I stutter and things and I want to cut that out um, But we will get this started. I'm waiting. Okay, so there it is So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set it up and I accidentally hit the turn signal there just out of habit um, But I'm going to wow you're already freaking out on me um, I'm gonna set my speed to 78 pretty typical for me and my following distance um, I'm gonna keep on I always debate between one and two so the car is doing our first lane change for us here and this is perfect we need to take this exit to go east and okay so this looks really good um, I think let's let's stick with one following distance for now okay so I just sped that part up because I screwed up what I was saying. <laughs> um, but we have done our interchange onto this other highway. This lane is ending and the car should do a good job. It usually like is kind of dumb here when the lane just ends like that. Um, but at least the people around me, I can bring this camera up for you, um, realize what's going on and they let me on. So no big deal there, didn't need a turn signal. So I'm heading over to my mom's today. We're going from Ann Arbor to Troy. Um, it's been a while since I've been to my mom's house because baby has been taking up all of my time. Speaking of baby, this video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop because baby's got to eat. You can find a link to the website down in the description. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything on their entire website. So we're going to head this way. I'm going to let the car do everything um, and we'll see how it does. I'm going to have to speed this up a lot. It's a really long drive. So let's check it out. Okay, I just realized that the speed is reduced. So I set it to 78 and that's what I want. So I don't know why it reduced it. So we're gonna set it back to 78. I don't want that to change. Um, I give the, the car a rating at the end, uh, A through F rating. Um, and in the top right of the video, I think I'm supposed to do this. Um, anyway, in the top right of the video for you, there will be a little eye icon at the end. So watch the whole video, kind of judge how you think the car did. Okay, we're making a lane change and it's waiting for this car to pass us. Um, but judge how you think the car did, and you can give it a letter grade anywhere from A to F. Um, and I always like seeing those. I'll post the results. Here's the results from the last Tesla challenge. Um, it did pretty, ooh, there's some weird braking there. Um, the car did pretty poorly in the last challenge, to be honest. I gave it an F. I thought it was totally awful. Um, I don't think you guys were as hard on it. I think it averaged a D um, from everybody voting. All right, so we got a lane opening up here. This is a time where the car gets confused and actually, no, it did that perfectly. So with them especially moving over in that little, uh, I think that's a focus, um, the car will, oh, okay, I don't want to do that. Um, the car will kind of follow them, but then get confused because it doesn't realize a lane is opening up. So we're really slowing down here. I would expect 
uh, the car to put its turn signal on any second to, yep, change lanes. There it is. As you use this system, I mean, you just kind of become one with it. You really know what it's going to do. So really perfect, aggressive lane change. I mean, these last few updates have just been so impressive with this stuff. And like it waited for that car to get out of the way, but it didn't wait so long that the car was like completely gone. Um, it just was, it was just so perfect. All right, so now we are moving over to the faster lane, which, you know, makes sense. We were going slower than our set speed. Um, so really good. It was a little delayed. It seemed like it took a few extra clicks, but all good. All right, I hate to say it, but this is one where I am intervening. I'm just gonna hit the turn signal to get over. We have to clear this guy uh, enough, and there it is. So still the car's doing all that. I just told it to get over because I had you know a few cars behind me that most definitely wanna pass, and I don't wanna block them. Um, it's just kind of a fault of the current software. It just will not move out of the way. Okay, so changing this Jeep is in our way, and yep, they're speeding up. When the turn signal comes on, they speed up, and my car has to slow down a lot, so, uh, you know, to make that lane change. So the person behind me, I think, wasn't exactly sure how to respond to that, but it's all right. We got a Florida driver over here. You know, I'm sure they're confused, you know, and, and don't know where they are. It's all right. I've driven in other states. It's difficult. Okay, so you can see here, this line is showing that in 1.5 miles we need to exit. So we're changing lanes to follow route, uh, which is perfect. So we will get over. Actually, this exit used to be completely broken and the car would fly past it. Uh, but the last time I took it, I think it did work. Uh, it actually did take this exit. So that's nice. I mean, one of the perks of having a, a car that updates is things that don't work eventually will. All right, very nice. Pass them. Uh, you can see them back there, and then turn the turn signal on to get over. That was really, really good. So here comes the exit. I really got to be ready here in case it wants to miss it, but I think it will do it. This is the part um, going into Detroit here where I may have to take over because we're getting off the highway for just a couple of miles. And perfect, it took it. That is so nice. Uh, again, that's an exit. It used to just fly right past it. It had it on the screen. It said it was going to exit, and it just didn't. Uh, but now that is working. So you can see navigate on autopilot is turned off if you're unfamiliar. This is just normal autopilot, the two lines. One line means you're on the highway and the car will do lane changes and exits and all that. Um, but I'll do as much of this as I can on autopilot, which I think will be most of it. I'm gonna have to um, change my speed and stuff though because nobody's going this slow and um, it doesn't know the speed limit. So pretty big bend here, which can be hard for autopilot sometimes. Oh, wow. Okay, they, I, I messed it up because I hit the accelerator, but that answered a question for me. As we were going fast past these people, it had the new ability, the adjacent lane, lane speed keeping. I didn't know if it would do that off the highway um, and on normal autopilot, and it did. It just did that there. So that's the first time I've seen that. Very interesting. Great job going through that intersection. Oh my gosh, that was confusing because going through curves through an intersection, no lines, you know, that can really confuse the car. Um, but so far it's done all the city driving uh, for me. Uh, I'm going to hit the accelerator here again. I know it's 35 guys, just calm down. <laughs> it's just the way people drive around here. And I would much rather keep up with traffic than be a nuisance um, and get in everybody's way. Okay, and super impressive. We just went through the downtown area, no interventions at all. The autopilot hand handled it all, and we're about to get back on the highway here. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the accelerator a bit, and boom, there's Navigate on autopilot, and the car can continue doing everything as long as this person doesn't bump into me. <laughs> um, so turn signals on by the car, moving over. It's getting ready to take our next exit. Man, that's really cool. 
So we made it all the way through that downtown area, stoplights and all. Um, not that the car stopped at them on its own, but it had enough cars around. Uh, okay, let's let's go. Okay, I'm gonna hit the accelerator. Again, I know the speed limit is 55, but nobody goes that slow here. Um, and we are off to our next interchange, going on to I-75 North. And here we go, we should be getting over. There's the turn signal, perfect, perfect. Really impressive here with no lane line to the right. Um, and I don't know if it's picking up that line in the cement, hopefully you can see that, um, and counting that as the lane line, um, but it's holding us perfectly here without any problems. Oh, there's a big pothole right there. Oh, jeez. Well, not allowed to take over in the challenge. Changing lanes to follow route. Okay, that's... <laughs> hopefully it turns the turn signal off. I mean, I guess it can be on. It's just a little early. And it's like not going. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Okay, I'm just going to hit the accelerator. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, that's weird. Okay, it's trying to merge in here. Um, it's, you know, for merging, it's doing a really good job. It just did it too early and it got confused by the solid line. Um, but beyond that, that was really good, actually. Changing lanes to follow route, that's good. I don't know why we're passing everybody when we do that. Oh God, okay. This Jeep is not gonna let us in. Oh, he is, what the heck? That's the nicest person ever. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm gonna wave to them. You always wave when they nicely let you in like that. Um, so that right lane does uh, end, it turns into an exit. So we do have to get over. So that was a really good move and actually at a pretty good time. Okay, faster lane. I was kind of surprised we weren't doing that. I thought it would happen earlier, um, but you know, that was a good opportunity for it. And I didn't mind too much. <laughs> Honestly, when I'm using autopilot, I just don't care that much. And you know what? I just noticed our max speed, um, okay, we're going faster again, uh, was lowered again. Um, so I'm gonna put that back up. That's really annoying. It actually didn't used to do that. We have two and a half miles left, and this is <laughs> so awesome so far. Autopilot is just killing it. It's doing so well. I just love using Autopilot. I wish this drive was double. I wish we were driving 90 miles for this video, but you know, maybe next time. All right, so getting over to follow route, and I don't know what it's gonna do here. It's gonna get behind this red car, and the guy, this guy's moving to let me in, so that's pretty good. Now the interesting thing here is last time I was here this was all under construction, but you know what, it looks like it might be done. Um, it wasn't able to do it in the construction. Okay, so it's taking advantage of this gap, kind of, like stop, what are you doing? Why, see, it's like, gets next to this volt. I Maybe mean, it's trying to show off like you're not fully electric. Um, yeah, and then some braking like in the middle of the lane change. Yeah, that wasn't a very good lane change. Um, but it happened, it's done, everybody's safe. Oh crap, I think that was our exit. Oh, they changed it. Okay, that sucks, I didn't realize that. So that's kind of my fault. Um, this used to be two exits. See, look at, oh, it's hitting the brake to exit. It thinks there's still an exit here. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I need to hit the hit the accelerator. Um, so now it thinks it's off the highway. Yeah, it's all confused. Oh my gosh, how annoying is that? Um, here, let me get out of these the way of these people really quick. So, okay. Um, anyway, so they changed that exit. I haven't been here since they, they updated that, but it used to be two exits. I don't know if you could see here, it said, uh, exit 60 whatever it said uh b there used to be an a and a b and now they've changed it so there's only the one exit 
and I did not know that. So the maps have not been updated, uh, so it couldn't take that exit, unfortunately. So let's just head to the next exit um, and see how it does with that one. But there you go, if the map isn't updated, the car doesn't know what to do. Um, so hopefully that'll get updated soon. Okay, so perfectly taking the next exit here, nothing has changed at this point. So that's really good. I guess the car heard my wish that I, <laughs> I wanted the drive to be longer, so it made it longer for me. Um, so anyway, besides that little you know map hiccup, which to me is not really a big deal, that was amazing. I am very happy with it. Um, let me add my, oh, okay. We are, or what are we doing here? You're getting off, you're getting on, what, you don't even know what you're doing. Um, let me get this camera up for you, sync those up. Um, so anyway, my thoughts, this was amazing, amazing drive. I really loved it, especially that downtown part. I was super impressed that we drove through the downtown area and we had enough cars around that I didn't have to do anything even with stop signs, or, well, no stop signs, but with stoplights um, and intersections and all that. I mean, especially through some of those curvy intersections, very impressive. So my grade, um, I'm definitely, I'm actually gonna give this one an A. An A, I am super impressed. That was tons of fun. I just like was chilling here recording. Now when I record these, I don't normally have the radio on or anything so that um, I'm ready to talk at all times. Uh, so that can be, you know, a, a little bit dull, but just watching the car do what it does, um, especially when you're used to it and you like know like, oh, it's about to make a lane change and do all this stuff. Just having my hand chilling on the wheel, paying attention. I mean, it's tons of fun. I just like, I love driving this car. I really do. Um, so let me know what you think. Put your grade up, click the little I. Uh, watch some other videos if you know you're unsure about autopilot or whatever uh, I'll have some stuff up there like if you don't know what all this means it'll, it'll tell you about that um, let me know what you think I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video